In the previous video, we received, processed, and tested our first product return. Now let's complete the return by shipping a replacement unit back to the customer. In this video, we'll enter our return center shipping address, configure the label printer, and generate a shipping label. On the home page, Note that the Returns and Process section shows one return in shipping status. Let's see what's involved in shipping a return. The first thing we need to do is enter the shipping address for our return center. To do this, click the Administration tab and open the return center. Here we can change the return center name and enter the shipping address. For this process, make sure to use a valid address or shipping errors may result later on. Once that's done, click Save. Now we need to set up a carrier account to ship with. To do this, click the Carrier Account tab. The supported carriers are UPS, FedEx, and Indicia, which is used to print postage for USPS shipping. For this example, We'll use an Indicia account and enable test mode so that we won't be charged for the label. Now that the carrier account is set up, we'll close the return center page and go back to the return. To begin the shipping process, click the ship link on the main return page. Notice that the default carrier is UPS Ground. This is because UPS is the carrier associated with the shipping method on the return. For this example, we'll change the carrier to USPS. Now we must install a program that will allow SupportSync to print directly to your label printer. To do this, click the arrow on the Create Label and Print button and choose Label Printer Setup. If you receive a window like this in your browser, click the underlying window to ignore it. Now click the Download button and select the .exe file to download the program. Next, click the downloaded program to install the software. After the program has been installed, open the label printer setup again. The label printer setup allows you to choose where to print labels from a list of available printers. For this example, OneNote will be used so that the printed labels can be shown on the screen. After selecting your label printer, the shipping page will be refreshed, so we'll select USPS again as the carrier. Next, we'll want to enter the serial number of the replacement product. Also note that the part that was received with the return is checked, which lets us know that it needs to ship as well. To generate the shipping label and send the notification to the customer, click the Create Label and Print button. Back on the main return page, we see that an email has been sent and there is now a record of the outgoing shipment. Let's look at the email that the customer received. The email includes information about the shipment, including the tracking number and tracking link. Like all other emails, you can modify the shipping email template to include a special message to your customers. Now let's take a look at the shipping labels that were generated. First, we have a USPS label that includes postage. 
The test only message indicates that the label was generated in test mode. Next, we can see the packing slip that includes the product as well as the associated part that needs to ship. Going back to the return, notice that the status is completed. We can see records of the receiving and outgoing shipments, the product serial numbers received and shipped, and any notes that have been added. This concludes shipping your first return. Check out our other videos to learn more about how SupportSync can help you provide superior service to your customers. Please send any questions to help at supportsync.com and thanks for watching.